demonstrates how to remove and replace the piezo on Logix 3000 series positioners, including the 3200 and 3400 variations. To begin with, remove the main cover of the positioner by turning counterclockwise. Verify that power has been removed from the positioner. Next, remove the three screws holding the mainboard cover and remove the cover. Locate the piezo connector on the mainboard. The piezo connector is located on the bottom left of the mainboard, closest to the logic sticker. It is a black connector, with a black wire and a red wire, as shown here. If necessary, remove the connector by gently pressing the tab on the side of the connector and pulling the connector away from the board. If only replacing the piezo, there is no need to disconnect this wire. Unscrew the driver cover cap using a 5 8 inch hex key and remove it from the positioner. This is the white circular housing cover that is on the bottom left of the positioner. This exposes the piezo housing and provides a good view of the piezo cap, along with the wires that run through the housing to the connector that we may have just disconnected in an earlier step. Note the orientation of the piezo cap, including the placement of the wires. It will be important to match this direction when reinstalling or replacing the piezo. Remove the two screws holding the piezo cap in place. Be careful not to lose track of the small spacers that are under the cap and screws. These spacers are not visible at this point in the removal process. By pressing on the sides of the screws, it is possible to put enough pressure on the edges of the spacers that they can be removed along with the piezo cap. You may want to use the driver cover cap as a container for the spacers, screws, and other small parts you want to keep together. Next, remove the piezo from the housing. Disconnect the piezo from the electronic circuit board by gently pulling directly out of the circuit board. Next, attach the replacement piezo to the circuit board in the opposite fashion you removed it. Insert the piezo into the piezo cap, making sure that the wires align with the slots in the end of the cap. Thread the piezo wire through the opening into the chamber where it can be reconnected to the main board. If the piezo board was removed, route the wires in the same fashion they were removed in. Now reconnect the piezo connector to the main board. Be sure to align the spacers over the screw holes. Insert the screws into the piezo cap. Align and set the piezo and piezo cap so the screws are inserted through the spacers into the same screw holes they were in when the cap was removed. Tighten the screws to secure the cap in place. Replace and tighten the white circular housing cover on the bottom left of the positioner. Then replace the mainboard cover in the opposite way it was removed. Finally, replace the main positioner cover by threading it back onto the housing. 